be showing you how to make a needle felted panda face. To start, take a handful of stuffing and wrap it with thread. White thread works best for this because it is almost the same color as the stuffing. You could also use thread that is similar color to the wool you will be using. Tuck the end of the thread under a thread loop and cut the thread. Take some off-white wool and wrap the stuffing ball. Poke the wool until it starts to firm up. The fibers in the wool are going to be felted together from your needle. If it doesn't seem like anything is happening, be patient. In a few minutes, the ball will start to firm up. Keep adding layers of wool until the shape is solid. You can cut off the excess wool you don't need and save it for later. Use a scrap piece of paper to make the tube. This is a guide for the ears. Be sure that the size of the circle created with the tube is the size of the ear you want. Stuff some black wool into the tube and poke. The tube also acts as a barrier so you don't poke yourself. Take the ear out of the tube and continue poking until it is a sphere. Add more wool if you think the ear is too small and make a second one the same way. Use a bit of white wool between the pieces to attach them. Poke in all different directions to ensure the strongest bond. Repeat with the second ear. Use a small amount of black wool to create the eye patches. 
start poking it until it forms a shape and isn't just loose strands. Then start to create the oval shape. You can trim off any excess fibers that won't end up in the felted piece. Place the patch onto the face at an appropriate location then poke it on. Make another eye patch and repeat the same process of attaching it. Use the same white color you used for the head to make the snout. Ball it up then poke in shape as you go. Hook the snout onto the face. Use small scissors or an awl to make holes for the eyes. You can use amigurumi eyes or a special needle felting eyes. If you're using amigurumi eyes, you have to twist the eye a little to get it in. Be sure the hole is deep enough for the eye to fit. Use a bit of glue on the end of the eyes to attach. Cut a very small bit of black wool for the nose. This is a little tricky to make, but basically just poke the wool until it looks like a small blob. When it's roughly the shape and size you want, poke it onto the snap. Ew, is that a large pillow I see? I'm gonna sleep. Get comfy. Poke, poke, poke. Ah, me run, me run, me run. <laughs>